Welcome back. Hoping you're having a, uh, a fabulous day here today. So, I've been seeing a lot of uh, conversations going on, right? Between the GC community and some of the videos that I have uploaded for Black Clover Mobile, saying, oh, that Black Clover Mobile is going to basically kill Grand Cross in a way. Again, it's said for every game at this point. I, I think there's like, there's not a single release that goes by that you see these comments or see these community opinions being, oh, GC is going to tie to this game. Though, I want to share one thing with you, right? Now, though both are turn based games and both are kind of, you know, big anime IPs. I want to share this with you, right? Which is a very weird statement and something that just shows that they are kind of either with a wrong mindset or they're just doing something outrageous. I can't tell, right? So I want to share this with you. Have a bit of fun with this here today. I'm going to load up some PvP so you can watch in the background, have a little bit of vibe there. And I want to share this with you. It's actually pretty funny, so stick around for it. Check it out. So with the PvP loaded in the background, right? Recently, if you don't already know, Black Lover Mobile has been announcing a crap ton of stuff. It's been a plethora of freaking announcements across the board. We have new character announcements, new uh, features added to the game, huge revamps from what the beta actually was. That's been going down. They also had two live streams, three if you were to consider it, but let's say two main announcement live streams. Uh, in both those live streams, first one was from KR. KR gave you an idea of what's happening. They first announced that, oh, the game has been fixed. Our animation is much better. Our things are much better. Our uh, engine is flawless. Everything is going pretty well, and we'll see you soon. Right? So that was like the main announcements of the thing. Uh, they showed some new characters, some new stuff we haven't seen before. Pretty basic uh, announcement stream, right? They then hit you with a launch date. They said, oh, we're aiming for a, a beautiful May launch date, which is a bit, you know, iffy because, you know, that's only for JP and KR. A little bit outrageous. We all thought that Global would launch at the same time. It was hyped up for a simultaneous release, and they fell short of that, giving you only a JP KR simultaneous release, which is a huge L in my opinion, but still, we'll, we'll power through it. Now, during the same conference, at the end of it, or rather during the later part where it wasn't streamed, it was just given to the media uh, for them to see it, they had an interview with the, you know, people attending that they can ask questions and say, oh, what's this, what's that, what's that? One of the questions was a little bit awkward in the way that their response was pretty, again, weird. And I think definitely not, uh, I don't know how to say it. Just here's the response. So the question basically was a, you know, what do you guys plan on your sales? What, what do you plan and like, what is your uh, idea of, a, of a, a W or a successful game that you're launching? What are your sales going to look like? What do you want to see, basically? And the response was pretty much weird. So again, the CEO of Big Game Studios said at Blackboard Mobile, the opening of Fate uh, during the media showcase is the first game developed based on animation works and aims to be an animated RPG. Internally, the goal is to achieve 100 billion won per month on a global basis, he said. Okay, now let that register. If you do not know how to convert that number right there, don't worry, I'm a calculator, I got you. That is $70 million. They just said in this interview that they aim to do 70 million dollars which is a lot of freaking money now i'm hoping now over various articles i wanted to read all of them maybe a translation error maybe they were like laughing and like jokingly saying yeah we're aiming for 70 million but bro 70 million dollars per month basis if they were in any capacity being serious about that realize now grand cross when it first launched probably did mo no more than 20 million dollars okay did no more than that. Again, and you could say it did way less, could have done 15, could have done 10. Currently a month when you have a hype festival, it does about 6 million. It does, that's it. 6 million with the greatest unit in the history for Grand Cross, 10 million. Recently, right? That's not that much. 70 million on a basis of every single month, that's what they want to achieve. That means that they're not even competing with Grand Cross. They're going head to head with like Genshin. Look at this, this screenshot here. Genshin on a good month basically hits about 70 million. On a bad month, it could hit way lower. On a really good month, it could have hit a bit a bit higher, right? 70 million is about the sweet spot for, for Genshin Impact. And you see how big Genshin Impact is. It is a fully open world. It's on every single console. That is what 70 million dollars looks like every month, okay? Now, big game studio, big game studio, whatever you want to say, they want Black Clover Mobile to hit that. They're not even competing with Grant Cross. They're not even competing with like 95% of the games. They're trying to go head to head with like the big boys up here, bro. I don't even know why that was a was a mention in everything here. Um, and again, like again, if it was a joke, wonderful joke, hundred billion uh, won per month for this one game. I don't care what anybody says. This Black Clover might be big. It might be big. But achieving $70 million a month is very impossible for a lot of games, and it just never happens. You, it, that might take you like a year to achieve that number for a majority of gacha games. Realize that now, okay? Now, this game, given it's a turn-based, not opened up first off to global yet in the future, and with some of the stuff we've already seen, 
I personally don't see it cracking that number. Again, you can go through a lot of turn-based games, and they usually don't break out of 30 uh, somewhat million dollars. They just don't, okay? I've seen most of them stuck below uh, a good amount, but there are waifu games, waifu simulators, and, you know, games that just have such a good IP that the gameplay doesn't matter to them. But I don't think Black Clover is one of them. They're trying to achieve a number which Genshin Impact on a bad month can't, or rather on a good month sometimes can't achieve. Realize that now. And again, if you look at it, they did copy a lot from Grand Cross and they basically took a crap ton from Slime and Sky Memories, both of these games that they were trying to be competitors towards. Um, and at the end of the day, if you look at it, they kind of fell short in a lot of aspects. I think that first off, the game is already in a very bad publicity area where people were just like, damn, bro, you said, you know, you're, we're gonna launch last year didn't launch last year you said first half of this year didn't launch first half of this year you then said second half of this year and you didn't launch global second half of this year it's just been really poor like poor communication across the board also it's been a little bit iffy though again i want to say that i'm still very hyped for the game and i'm definitely going to play the crap out of the game as much as i can it's just you can't lie that across the board a lot of their communication and some of their statements have been a little bit iffy. Um, again, first you have recently, and today this happened actually, the stream was supposed to go live, didn't go live, then proceeded to be delayed, then go live, and proceeded to give you absolutely nothing. I was planning on streaming uh, the one last time, which was like a few days ago, and on that one, they said that they had a huge stream planned, huge announcements, they dropped like like a few things, and then uh, a release date, and then just dipped. <laughs> and they said, oh, we'll be back in like a few hours for our content creators to show off the rest of the game, which, Again, it's been very iffy. They've been doing live streams. There was a live stream prior to this, which I also covered, uh, which was the JP live stream. And on that stream, they literally gave you one trailer, one trailer for an hour and 30 minutes. And then said, GG's boys, we're tapping out and just left. Genuinely, been a little bit, uh, little bit on the awkward side of how they've handled the game so far. But I do hope that, you know, some of these statements they've been dropping are just, you know, jokes and they can laugh it off. I do hope that, right? So out of the like 30 articles that I read, they really all quoted them to be saying it truthfully that, oh, we're looking for 70 million. I saw like one article saying, oh, laughingly he said it, but still aiming for 70 million. I mean, even as a joke, realistically, you can crack like 30, 40, you definitely could, but 70 million is like Genshin territory. And if Black Clover thinks they can do it, hey, I'm all for it. I, I want to see it happen. But um, me personally, they, they still haven't even cracked in the uh, JP or KR region. Uh, th what is it, 400,000 per registers, apparently, in their book, because they haven't tweeted, right? Uh, and then you have a game like uh, Honkai Star Rail reach, what, 9 million at this point? 9 million per registrations. Uh, but Black Lord Mobile hasn't cracked 500,000. Again, one's in a global marketplace, one's not, I, I guess. It's just a little iffy, bro. They have a CN version, all those versions. Also for uh, for Black Lord Mobile, it's, it's, I don't know, it's all over the place. But, hey, we'll continue to wait. We'll see when the uh, actual release date is dropped. Hopefully, it is uh, pretty close. Remember, it is scheduled for May for a JP and KR release. They are copying the Grand Cross mentality of launching the game prior in the other regions as a beta, if you will, and then proceed to launch the global version elsewhere uh, afterwards, right? So with that, I'll catch you in the next one. I want to stay safe, peace, and enjoy. I want to talk about this little, uh, little fun thing over here, which left me shocked. Honestly, I didn't expect that number. 70 million is a lot.